Let me see if I can um, follow along with you, right? The first thing I'm going to do is, it's not a quadratic, so I'm going to turn it into one. Okay, I'm going to reduce it down. So here is my substitution, okay? Now, by the way, this step, as with many steps, it's kind of like a, hmm, I'm trying to think through what I'm doing. But as you get more comfortable with this, you don't have to say explicitly you're doing it. You can do some of these steps in your head as you become more familiar with them, okay? So I'm going to write my um, new equation in here. That's that. Again, it's one I've chosen, which is easy to factorize. What's the pair of numbers I'm after? Minus two, minus 2 positive 3. Will that work for me? When I do minus 2 plus 3, that's going to give me 1, right? Which is supposed to be this number in here, right? So it's not quite matching up. I need a different pair of factors. It's going to be close. Yeah, all right. Um, 6 and minus 1. 6 and minus 1. Will 6 and minus 1 do it for me? When you add them, 6 plus negative 1, do you get 5? Yeah. You do, right? And when you do 6 times negative 1, do you get minus 6? Yeah, yeah you do. It checks out, okay? So therefore, um, rather than this, I'm going to go 6 and negative 1. So I get u plus 6. u minus 1 equals 0. Are you happy with that? Okay, so now I can go ahead and solve uh, minus 1. Sorry, positive 1. Or negative six. Okay, you happy with that? Yeah. I'm um, in u squared plus five u squared. Why is it five u squared? Again? Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's wrong. Is that better? <laughs> Thanks. Okay, so I've done my now. I've done my substitution correctly. I've factorized. I've gotten a pair of solutions out for you. Okay. So now I have to go back, don't I? I have to go back to here and I have to say x squared instead of u. All right. So there's my 1 or my negative 6. Now, once you get to this point, you might raise an eyebrow right, and think, hold on, something a bit strange is going to happen here. Um, it doesn't start off too bad. If you just imagine x squared equals 1 and that's all you have, what solutions are you going to get out of that? You're just going to get plus or minus the square root of 1, which happens to be 1. Right? So no big deal. Okay? But then you get to this next part <laughs> and you say, hold on a second. There's no number, at least not that we're familiar with, there's no number you can square, no real number that when you square it gives you a negative, right? Because if you take the square root of 6, if you square that guy, you won't get negative 6. You'll get 6, right? If you take the negative square root of 6, if you square that, you're still in trouble because that double negative will cancel and you'll still get positive 6. There's nothing we can do to come up with an answer for this, right? So therefore, out of the 1, we get plus or minus 1. Out of the negative 6, though, it doesn't actually contribute any solutions. That's it. I'm finished. Even though we expected, and it's a good re with good reason, we expected four solutions, right? We've only gotten two. And that does happen sometimes. That's fine. Okay? In fact, you can, it doesn't take that much effort to imagine if I shuffled around my numbers a little bit. If I had two negative numbers here, like say negative 1 or negative 6, what would that mean for this final answer here? How many solutions would there be? There, there wouldn't be any solutions that I can deal with in these kinds of numbers, right? Because there's no numbers I can square to get to negative 1, and no numbers I can square to get to negative 6, at least not on my graph. Okay? Now, just out of the sake of um, curiosity, just so you can see what this means, uh, what this would look like is square root of 2 is about 1.4. Okay? So you're going to get a graph that looks something like this. Um, plus 18. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Something like that for this, because you've got a higher power up here, it just wiggles more, right? Just like a parabola wiggles once and it just goes off. This guy wiggles a few more times, okay? Um, here, what's going to happen, because you've only got two solutions, is you'll get a shape kind of like this. What's this, plus or minus one? Um, okay, it still wiggles, it wiggles around, right? But you see how I've got one, two, three, four solutions here. But over here, I've only got two. One, two. It just means this wiggle happens too high or too low or something else, so that it never actually intersects, okay? 